and today I'm gonna be doing a video on collecting rainwater for your plants for my plants and I'm also gonna show you a little bit of my garden how my garden looks <music> This is my outdoor plants. It's a little messy, but I have a bunch of cactus that I just have there. I have a monstera over here, which is not looking good. It's getting a lot of sun. And I have a lot of plants over here. They get protected by the shade. Um, I have some Hoyas right there. I have right there. This is the Hoya Motoskai, which is like an original Hoya, and then I have a larger Hoya in the back. That one right there, huge Hoya, my string of pearls. I have more Hoyas right there, more Hoyas over here. Well, I have Hoyas all over, anyways. My little greenhouse right here i'll show you guys this does not looking good because um i'm in the process of taking some out and putting them in my room um but yeah some of them are here on the bottom that's a plant that i'm trying to revive it's a pothos that um i had outdoors but i'm gonna bring it indoors right here i have my australis which is pretty nice and it's climbing up over here and then i have my obovata with pentacles this is filled with pentacles like it's it has so many so much so much i can't even talk so much pentacles anyways but like i said yeah today i'm gonna be showing you guys um collecting water it's gonna be raining uh tomorrow we're expecting rainfall tonight and all of tomorrow and a part of sunday so pretty much about maybe like 40 36 hours of rain so I'm going to be putting um, some buckets laying there on my front yard so that I could collect some water. And that's going to be great for my plants, for my indoor plants. Of course, the ones that I have outdoors are going to so get... Of course, the, the plants that I have outdoors are going to get the rainfall. But um, I'm collecting this for the plants that I have indoors. And hopefully, if you're watching the video, you guys do the same thing. I don't know if you guys do it. Leave me a comment down below if you guys do the same thing of collecting rainwater for your indoor plants. Because I feel like there's nothing better not even fertilizer for your plants than rainwater right so anyways so i'll show you guys a little bit more of my garden and i'll show you guys the buckets that i'm gonna be using for collecting the water right here um i have my queen tree which is not looking good but it's not in season for it to look good um it it is getting bombarded with my passion fruit which is getting attacked by it but um you cannot really see it um and i need to do really good tender love and care for this one but um, that's my quince tree. And it's in the process of, it's growing flowers. Or, I mean, it's losing flowers and it's getting ready for next year. Right here, I have my plum tree. It's getting really nice and lush. And there's some fruit in there. My plants, um, they're growing fruits when they're not supposed to. This and this tree does not supposed to be growing fruits right now, but I mean, it's gonna obviously drop them like this one as well it already grew fruits but um this is the second time that it's growing fruits and it's not really supposed to be growing fruits anyways um continuing here on the side i have my orange tree little baby orange tree and right here camouflage into the passion fruit it's my mango tree this is the Raposa mango tree, which grows giant mangoes. And I cannot wait for this to start growing mangoes for me. I'm gonna say about five more years and it's gonna start producing nice, juicy mangoes. Over here on the side, ignore this little mess. I have my pear tree. This is the Asian pear tree. I'll show you guys the little the tag right here. The Asian pear. Um, I got this from Lowe's, uh, no, from Home Depot actually, and look at it, it's just getting tall and huge. It's amazing. Um, cannot wait for this one to look lush and for it to start growing me some fruits. I'm gonna show you guys the trunk right here because it looks like um, like a pear, and even though it's just a trunk, so it looks really cool. I'll show you guys how it looks out there. It's just 
um, you can see you can feel the breeze on the air um, see how dark is getting and in my neighborhood or in my street we're like that house that has a bunch of plants we're that house so <laughs> yeah you can see right here some lemon trees just popping out there this lemon tree grows lemons um, all year round like there's no denying it just grows lemons We have some aloes um, right there. But yeah, so more likely I'll be using this bucket to collect my rainwater. It's a pretty good size. And yeah, so there's nothing that I like to invest when it rains than collecting my own rainwater. All right, guys, so this is the very next day after the rain didn't really rain as i thought i mean it's still it's still really cold as you could, can hear and the sun is not it's coming out and i just think the sky looks really nice but let me show you guys exactly how my bucket went if i could find um you can see it did clear it clearly did rain um my monstera it's we're having a good time my Hoya, however, looks pretty nice. I'll show you guys my little Hoya here. My Hoya Wayetii. See, it just keeps growing. And these are the ones that I cut and um, I start new plants with. Um, this one has a pinnacle right here, if you guys can see it. Right there, that's a pinnacle. And that's the one that smells like berries and like fruit tart. It smells really good. Hoya Wayetii. Um, right here I have the Hoya Motoski, Motoski, Motoski. This one is the original because this is um, known to be the one that started everything, kind of like a Hoya Carnosa. And the flowers on this are very potent and strong. Um, it had pinnacles, but I guess it dropped them. But um, yeah. Just move out over here. I was emptying my greenhouse. You can see now it's pretty much empty. Um, I left these ones over here um, just because and my yellow crocs but let's go look at the bucket yellow crocodonies let's go look so there's a little bucket right here this one has dirty water oh my god let's look at the bucket here it is Let's see how much water we were able to collect. Okay. Quite a good amount. I still want more, so I'm gonna leave it here <coughs> so that it could get more rain. It's really cool, guys. I don't know if you guys could see and hear how windy it is. And we do have a sun, which I think it looks marvelous right there. Look, see? Let me take a look at my other plants over here. Perfect. That looks really nice. I feel like this is the perfect scenario for plants to to grow. Um, like this sun is like a dapple sun. It's not like strong beaming sun. Even if you put your Hoyas in here, um, I don't think they're going to get sun scorched because the rays are not that strong. Um, I have an issue here with my quince tree. Keeps growing those dandelion um, flowers. So, yeah. Anyways, so that's that. Um, I'll just wait about one more day until Sunday, probably Monday, and then I'll be using this rainwater. But this is it. I just wanted to make this video here filming my water collecting from rain and show you guys a little bit around my house but yes um at the end i just woke up <laughs> i just wanted to share with you guys um to collect your rainwater because it's the best thing talking about hoyas let me show you this one um this one here is protected by this little top part so it's not gonna get um damaged with the rain and it's a very hardy hoya so the the cold is not gonna do much to it and i still want to show you guys this right here which is the 
the sun scorched part it's not really scorched but yeah anyways guys so, so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye